Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This look is... <laughs> what is it? Um, basically, I, as it's like Pride Month week type thing over the world at the moment and everywhere's having gay pride and stuff like that, I thought it might be fun to do my little version of Pride, I guess. Well, it, well that's what it started off being. It was going to be like a rainbow look and then I was going to do something which involved blending colours and yeah and it turned out like this as most of my makeups do it's turned out like an evil demon type things but yeah just because it's come out this evil looking thing doesn't mean I'm obviously against pride well obviously not but you know what I mean so it's not meant to be an anti-pride type look it's meant to be pro-pride <laughs> evil apparently though <laughs> the heart makes it happier there it is <laughs> but yeah ultimately I wanted to do something that I knew I knew there'd be a hint of darkness in there obviously I didn't mean want this much darkness but it, it works but I wanted the ultimate theme to be pride obviously and just love and pride and against hatred that kind of a thing it was actually I got a request a while ago as well and I wanted to integrate this um from is it Meg Garfield I'll put your name there your YouTube name there um yeah they requested a rainbow look a long time ago so I thought I would honor it and put my own spin on it and yeah so this is my pride rainbow demon scary pretty heart thing <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy it if you want to see how to recreate this look stay tuned so the first thing i'm going to do is block out my eyebrows and apply a latex bald cap um because i'm going to try and go for this whole streamlined kind of look so i don't want any seams or any bumps or anything so uh, i'll do that and get back to you i'll pop a couple of links here and here to tutorials i've done in the past teaching you guys how to block out your brows and apply a bald cap just so i can save some time up in this video and yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that and we'll go from there. So there we are. So that's my eyebrows all blocked out, covered with wax, and my um, ball cap is applied. I'm just going to let my latex edge dry because I've gone around the edge of my ball cap with latex just so I can blend it in seamlessly. Um, so while it's drying, I can just quickly talk to you about the um, what I'm going to be doing on the majority of the face. So I'm going to be using a lot, a lot, a lot of Snazaru watercolours. Um, <laughs> so just, I love Snazaru so much. Um, so... The idea is, I'll mention, I'll do, a majority of this video is going to be time-lapsed because there's not real, there's no real method to this. Because what I'm going to do is, aside from la lathering up the brush so that there's, the consistency is nice and creamy and it isn't runny. Because the what, last thing we want is this colour to run. So we're going to use it as if it's a cream. Um, but yeah, I'm going to literally do stripes of rainbow colours starting at the back here, going all the way down, stopping to about there on my neck. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to keep painting the stripes on. It doesn't have to be too neat, because after I've done that, I'm going to go into more fine detailing with some black colours and dark purples, that kind of thing, just so we can make it look a bit more sporadic. But I'm going to make this up as I go along, so I have an idea in mind, though. But yeah, so I'm going to start colouring these stripes, and I'm going to st start down the middle, because then I'll know it'll be an easier way for me to gauge on how far I need to go out and how far I need to space these colours. Uh, and I'm going by a regular rainbow colour spectrum, so I know what colours to use and where. And yeah, so try to make the colours, although similar, like like when you're using orange, like using an orange and a darker orange, try to make them fairly different, otherwise it will just look like a gradient. And I'm not going to go for the gradient look, I want there to be a distinct change in colour. But yeah, so I'll start colouring in and then we'll go from there. So there we are. So once I've got like the base colours done, I can start on the next step, which is going to be really sporadic and random, to be honest. Um, I've not done my eyes, as you can see, because I'm going to be colouring that in last with a different colour, and it's just easier not to have a base there so the colours won't mix. So now I'm going to take a load of these, I'm probably going to use, but some really, really stiff small brushes. And the idea is I'm going to take a small amount of each of these colours, and I'm just going to spiky them 
in one in direction going downwards out uh, over and over and over again out and out and out and eventually it should hopefully just look really sporadic and the colors should taper into each other without being a gradient if that makes sense so if i just do that Loads and loads of ra random jagged shapes spiralling off because the other colours are going to taper into that as well. And yeah, I mean, it'll make more sense when I do the eyes and I do the neck because I'm going to have that spike, the, the black spiking upwards and outwards. So yeah, so I'm going to do that on every colour and we'll go from there. Okay, so it's not quite just blended in, it's got this special stylized way of doing it. This it has a, a pattern to it, if that makes sense. You as I said, you'll see when I've when I do the black, which I think I'm actually gonna do now, and I can go back to this later and do other things to it. So yeah, I'm gonna take a black Snazaroo watercolour now, and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid, and then in fact I'll, I'll go from there. So for now, just cover your eyelid and just underneath your eye. So this next part really doesn't have to be neat, and I'm using a, a medium eyeshadow brush to apply this. So what I've done is, so you apply the colour and you sweep it outwards. This is what I'm going to do now. So load up the brush, and then just pull the colour downwards and upwards, obviously, when you get to the top. Then I'm going to take my Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen by Collection 2000 and I'm just going to spike these lines, these these eyes out, probably about to here at the longest point. So just random shaped, random length lines. So not all one length, some short, some long, just spiking out. So there we are. So then I'm going to colour my uh, waterline with some MAC Black Fluid Line in Black Track, just so the eyes look that bit darker. Then I'm just going to body paint the entire half of my body here with black Snazzy watercolour and I'm going to spike it up, but I'll do that after obviously I've just done the bulk area here. Actually, I'm just stopping for a sec because I've just started doing this raspy kind of when where it just does the colours running out of the brush and I'm just pulling the colour down. It's giving this effect here. I'm going to do that on the neck. That actually would be the perfect gradient that I'm looking for. That not exactly perfect. The really sharp lines and yeah, I'll just pull that colour upwards then. Yeah. I just cleaned off a patch here because I just thought it might be quite sweet to have a little rainbow heart drawn in the same way as this just here. So I'm just going to, I won't show you guys how to do it because I'm just going to trace it on with the felt eyeliner pen in a really rough, sharp way, so not rounded. And I'm going to colour it in the same way that I did this face really. <laughs> so there we are. So there's my little heart that I've tried to make. I tried to make it messy and I've ended up kind of making it a little bit too neat, maybe. I don't know. No, I'll leave it. Um, <laughs> so you could finish the look here, I guess, but I'm going to put my black sclera contact lenses in because this was originally meant to be a happy rainbow type look, but everything I do ends up looking evil. And I <laughs> so I might as well put black sclera lenses in now just to make the eyes even darker and so look like that. Why not? <laughs> so there we are with my black sclera lenses in. This is how I look. Um, oh, quick side note, these are from eyesbright.com, um, they're called, what are they called, Sabretooth, I believe, these lenses, the black sclera lenses, um, yeah, I'll pop a link in the description bar below if you guys want to check them out, uh, but yeah, so it pretty much does make this look quite a bit more evil really, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it kind of looks like the 
pride and happiness is peeking through and I suppose the black could be hate that kind of thing so you kind of yeah so the, the general idea I went in with this was meant to be a bright happy look with the black representing like a disease like hatred like trying to cover it up but you can't that kind of a thing and it's I don't know if I've achieved that it kind of just looks like an evil rainbow demon yeah gay demon yay <laughs> but yeah so I don't know you guys can probably take this and do something else with it it's probably probably more fun more happy <laughs> but yeah so that's my look i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all so so much for watching if you like it you know the usual make sure to rate comment subscribe all that jazz and yeah so until next time bye <laughs>